Hey everyone, uh, it's Steel from the ES Forms. I thought I'd uh, post a uh, video um, on this battery and this assembling. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded to YouTube, but uh, I'm going to try to upload more often when I can here, uh, most likely on this uh, project that I'm doing here. Um, so what I have in front of me here is a 2013 uh, smart car battery. Uh, this is basically a 93S battery. Um, I'm not sure the chemistry offhand. I can't remember. I think I could be wrong. I think they may be L LG cells. I'm not sure, but some markings in the battery though. I don't know what that, those mean. So the exact time when it was made, I assume. Yeah, so this is a 93S battery. From what I remember when I looked this up a couple years ago, I, th I believe they're uh, 55 amp hour uh, pouches. And there's 93 cells. So it's, I think the nominal voltage is like 300 and... Let's see if we got it here. Do we have it? Oh, there we go. No, sorry for the video. Sorry, 52 amp hour, 170 kilograms, 17.6 so 17 kilowatt hour, 339 volts. Hmm, I'm not sure. I should probably have done more research before taking this apart. But anyways, um, so what did I do today? So what you're looking at right now, just the three 331S modules. They're sitting at about 116 volts, roughly, uh, about 3.75-ish a cell. Um, pack's been sitting for quite a while, so I'm going to have to bring it, charge it back up a little bit. Um, but what have I removed? Uh, well, I removed, uh, this used to be down here, it has the contactors on it and the, uh, the output plug there, two contactors there. Uh, this piece here was on this side, like that, screwed in of course, and this is I guess the uh, contactor with pre-charge. Well, I'm sorry about the video guys, there you go. Uh, I removed the, uh, I believe, what is it, the BMS, made in Germany. Wow, this lighting is just horrible today. Anyways, take my word for it, made in Germany. And that plugged into, um, that plugged into this, these plugs here. So that. And we got the, uh, the bus bars, the various bus bars throughout the pack. So, I mean, let's see here, hold on. Actually, I'll just go. So this fuse, hmm, I find it hard to believe this is 2000 amps, 2000 A, that's probably wrong. No, there we go, wow, 225 amp. Um, so, if we went off what this fuse is, not, like not even knowing anything about the cells, but if this is capable of pulling 225 amp as per the fuse, oh god, that damn delight today. Um, so that's at least 600 amps at 120-ish volts, um, that I can pull out of this pack. Just going based off the fuse. Uh, current sensor, that was in between two bus bars as well. Fuse cover, miscellaneous screws. I should have done videos taking it apart, but I don't have the stand and stuff to hold my camera. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, another good nice feature is the water cooling as you'll see So all the piping is run here So I'm gonna preserve the water cooling because it's nice and simple to uh, reuse it uh, the two uh, oh, There we go. Yeah, that's for the coolant 
one's there and one's there. So we can try to reuse those if we can. Uh, it's got a thermal sensor right here for the temperature of the cells. So essentially you could, if you really want to, you could heat and cool the cells if you really wanted to. Um, these are the, uh, I guess the balance boards. I didn't peel them off. Probably could take out the clips there, but imagine there might be some, uh, I don't know if the surge resistors are here or they're probably, I would imagine they're in the casing over there. But uh, yeah, all the, the BMS plugs into here. And uh, yeah, and then goes to the cells. So what I'm gonna end up doing, um, the reason I have this all basically disassembled is because uh, the EV that I'm putting it in, um, it has a, I believe a Solstice 1 controller with a Warp 11. Um, the controller itself, I don't believe fully charged can take the voltage. It's almost uh, close to 390-ish, 400 volts from what I remember when I calculated this last. So it's just too much. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to group them uh, 3S, thir uh, yeah, 3S, 30, 31, 3P31S, um, and just do it that way. Uh, the owner uh, of the EV is not really concerned about uh, breaking any speed records because it'll be going in a, a Model A Ford um, that's been converted quite a few years back. So uh, I know that Warp 11 is a little bit power hungry. Well, it's, it's really power hungry actually. So it uh, will be interesting to see. Uh, he's going to be going from a lead acid pack. Um, he was running, running 10 Trojan batteries, about 100 amp hour cells. Uh, 10 in series so it was around the same voltage as what we're putting in with this pack I might have to modify the low voltage cutoff and stuff with the controller uh, but I'll get to that when I can um, yeah one thing to note with uh, with a lead well I shouldn't say with brush um, controllers um, the voltage really well, in, in this case, the Solstice One, when we tried different voltages, it wasn't really much difference in the uh, the performance. Uh, it's all to do with the current, really. So uh, I can't really describe it. It's hard to, you know, I've always been used to brushless motor controls where you increase the voltage and it goes up, but uh, they work on a little bit of a different theory, especially that controller there. Um, I'll try to pull some updates as I can, uh, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of what's going on here. Um, I'm going to try to find some more information on these cells, but if anyone knows, 2013 uh, smart car battery, 17.6 kilowatt hours, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.